welcome back. So today I'm gonna do a live feed update for yesterday. The, <laughs> I need to get my day straight. I was a whole day off last time seeing it was, oh God, I was in June and whatever. It is August 2nd. <laughs> so we're gonna cover the feeds from yesterday, a little bit of today. I, um, as of right now, I don't think they've had the um, Power Veto, um, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay the same. Christian won the Power Veto on um, Saturday. So, since he's head of household, I don't think it's gonna change. Um, we have Hannah and Whitney on the block. Um, it seems pretty clear that Whitney is gonna go home. Um, but Sarah Beth <laughs> is really trying to steer it towards Hannah. Um, I think that she sees that she's more of a threat in the game, um, but she is with the cookout. So um, they are going to protect her, especially um, Xavier. And there's a lot of tension right now. Well, not outwardly. Um, Tiffany really wants to get, are you wearing her Tiffany? <laughs> Tiffany really wants to um, get Sarah Beth out of there. Um, she's getting a little paranoid, which I totally understand. I mean, if, if there's ever a place to get paranoid, it's gonna be this house. Um, so we'll get into that. Um, so they're, they're also, they're studying the days um, quite often. They were doing it um, just an hour or so ago. Um, I think that they think it's gonna be a memory comp um, this week, but we know that it's gonna be endurance. So, when I started watching yesterday, um, Tiffany and Hannah are talking. Um, Hannah wants to um, find a way to build a better relationship with Alyssa, well, a stronger relationship. Um, Tiffany suggests that maybe she talk to her about um, like the fashion industry and all that because Hannah, as far as the house is concerned, Hannah is a fashion student. So she thinks like she could have an in with her with that and they could build a closer relationship. Um, <laughs> Tiffany tells her not to let herself get paranoid, which, sorry, my voice is a little off this today. Um, she tells her not to let herself get paranoid, which is a little ironic. <laughs> um, so, then we get to Alyssa and Hannah talking. Um, Hannah proposes to Alyssa that the two pairs work together. So that would be her and Derek X and Alyssa and Christian. Um, let's see. Um, oh. Oh, I'm missing a note. Okay, so we'll move on and then it'll probably, I'll find it. So now we have Kylan and Sarah Beth talking. Kylan does not trust Brittany. Ever since that, he heard those two conversations last week where Brittany was pledging her allegiance to two different groups of people. Kylan does not trust her. Um, in, let's see. And then Sarah Beth is telling him she does not trust Hannah. Um, they're both explaining their arguments, their logic. And Kyla says, you can never assume people are thinking the same way you do, which let that be a life lesson. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Um, Okay, next we have Tiffany talking to the camera about Sarah Beth um, and that she's got to go. And <laughs> this is where Tiffany gets a little paranoid throughout the day. 
Tiffany has has um, has willed herself into believing that perhaps Sarah Beth is some type of um, like America's player, and maybe Kylan is too, and maybe they know each other in real life, and um, maybe. Sarah Beth could even possibly be Shelly's sister. I'm assuming we're talking about um, Shelly and the, what was that, 17? Because uh, there's two Shelly's. There's the Shelly's from Jordan's second season, and then there's the Shelly that was with the young football guy from A&M. That was Vanessa Russo's season. I'm assuming she means that Shelly. Um, so there's that. <laughs> and I think she also, I think she also suggested that to Kyland. So, um, next Tiffany's talking to Eric X, um, about who will take a shot at Sarah Beth. So far, him, Claire, and Hannah are willing to take a shot at Sarah Beth. Um, I think all of the Kings, um, which is Sarah Beth's team, um, Christian, Alyssa, and Xavier, I don't think they're willing to take the shot themselves, but they'll do it indirectly. They don't mind if um, Sarah Beth goes. Which is sad. I, you know, I really enjoy Sarah Beth. I, um, I didn't think I was going to because she put it out there about that whole floater game thing. Um, but I really enjoy her. And we've seen um, the past couple days, she's very sweet. She's very mild mannered. Um, but she gets snippy. <laughs> she's gotten snippy a couple times with um, production. And again, I think that's only natural. I mean, this is a lot of pressure, stress. So, um, Derek F. and Xavier have a talk. Derek F. wants Hannah to go. And Xavier's discouraging this. Um, so I guess, Along with Frenchie's logic, I guess we learned that Derek F. went on, um, he went on, what is this? I don't know what's going on with this shirt. Um, Derek F. went on Twitter prior to entering the house and um, he got a bee in his bonnet about women working together um, this season, which, I mean, nobody knew, nobody had any information. But if you'll notice, like from the very beginning, um, along with Frenchie, Derek F has been discussing like how all the women are gonna group together and form this big alliance and get everybody out. Maybe that was like one of the motives Frenchie had like for building that French Kisses alliance. Um, I don't know, but Derek F is very concerned about it. Uh, okay, now we have Kylan and Sarah Beth talking. Um, they've gotten, I saw yesterday, they've gotten very cuddly. Um, I mean, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, but um, people are talking about it. And Tiffany in one of those, well, she goes on later to say, you know, Sarah Beth has a girlfriend and she does. She has a girlfriend at home. I think they've been together for three years and she thinks, Tiffany thinks it's disrespectful and I agree. Um, and they're getting very close. Like these, they've been close, but the past couple days, very close. Um, so Kylan tells Sarah Beth, I feel like we're in a really good position in the house. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Kylan had to, she pulled, or Tiffany pulled Kylan aside earlier in the day, told him 
that she thinks he's just being a little too sociable with everyone, um, which, I mean, you have to be. You see what happens to the people that aren't, <laughs> like Whitney, for instance. Um, and I think that's also, she has sort of an agenda, like to keep Kai to herself as well. But um, yeah, I don't know how, how, safe your position in the house is Kylan or Sarah Beth really um I mean Kylan not so much but Sarah Beth really needs to do something um well she's doing a lot but she needs to... I hope she knows that all of this chitter chatter is going on um he keeps reassuring her not to worry so much about Hannah. Um, and she apologizes to him for being so difficult this week. Uh, okay. And we have Tiffany and Hannah in the storage room and they're discussing Sarah Beth once again. And they think that this is all an act. They think that um, at 28 years old, You've, been, you've seen enough things in your lifetime that you can't be this naive. Um, and then on the flip side, Sarah Beth can be very opinionated. So these two things can't go together <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so they just think this is all a smokescreen. Um, I think we're reaching a little bit here because obviously everybody's gonna have like a persona for the house. So, um, yeah, Tiffany just really wants Sarah Beth to go. Okay, next we have, um, oh, this is fun. So Aza wants to have a pageant in the house. These guys, they're very creative like with their downtime. Um, because they are like hardcore gaming all day, every day. So they do manage to throw some fun things in. So Aza, Aza wants to have a pageant for the house. Um, she's talking to Xavier, Derek X and Claire about it. Um, we had Brittany, Hannah, Sarah Beth learning a dance routine from Brit in the backyard. Um, Oh, here it was, the Hannah and Alyssa talk. Okay. So Hannah and Alyssa are talking. Hannah says, um, I've always had a working relationship with you and Chris Christian. So this is obviously going back to the, like, why did you guys put me up? Um, she said, I've always helped him and looked out for him. And I was really thrown with him nominating me. And then Hannah asked her, how do you think your team feels about me? And um, Alyssa says they're all, they're all on board with her, um, except for Sarah Beth. <laughs> but she doesn't, she leaves that part out um, and doesn't tell her that Sarah Beth is um, coming after her. So next we're doing hot takes with Hannah in the diary room with Xavier. Um, she's explaining to him, I could still work with Christian, but I feel that I'm disposable. Um, okay, later on we have Sarah Beth trying to shift the target again from Whitney to Hannah. Um, she thinks, and, and this is true, she's got a really good point here. Whitney's not gonna, she doesn't She doesn't think that Whitney's gonna be that competitive a player and Hannah will be more of a threat, and I agree. Um, Tiffany suggests Brittany as a nom in the future. And if she wins HOH, she's gonna put her up. Now, I don't know why. 
because I don't I don't see Brittany as a as a threat in the game. Um, and I would think that Tiffany would go after like a big threat, but maybe she really can't. Maybe her hands are tied with her alliances. I mean, I, yeah. I do you guys love when I talk stuff out in my head to make it make sense to myself? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so she's gonna go after Brittany if um if she wins and she's putting it out there that if anybody else wants to, she's good with it. Um Let's see. And we have Xavier defending Hannah's game once again. So now we have Whitney giving a makeup lesson to all the ladies um, in the kitchen or in the dining room. Um, let's see. That was fun because they're going to go, they're going to have like a club night upstairs in the patio upstairs later on in the night. Um, okay, now we have Claire, Tiffany, Derek Frazier in the backyard discussing, um, oh, discussing that Whitney wanted to do the makeup tutorial while she was here. It seems a little, I guess that was something she wanted to do like while she was in the house and, um, I mean, I guess it's genuine, but you got to wonder, is she trying to get votes? Like, is she trying to, to buddy up with the women? I, I don't know. Who knows? Um, they discussed that they need to win the HOH. Somebody has to win it other than a member of the Kings. And it, and it, we should also point out that, um, I'm pretty sure, I'm 99.9% .9 sure the teams are ending this coming week. But, and, and normally in a season when that would happen, people would just kind of, but I don't think that's going to happen in this case. Not so much because they've really built um, allegiances to each other. I mean, think about like how close Derek F is with um, Aza and Brittany. Although I think Brittany would, go rogue. And then you have Christian, Alyssa, obviously, and then throw Xavier in there, but they're willing to sacrifice Sarah Beth. So it'll be really interesting to see how far they'll leave the perimeter of these alliances, like once they're done. Um, let's see. Oh, Derek F is discussing that if Brittany wins HOH, she's pissed off at Xavier and um, Kylan for nominating her as a pawn. So it will be justified if um, she nominates them. Okay, now we're all getting dressed for the BB Club slash Love Island that we're gonna have upstairs. Um, let's see, Hannah and Derek F are discussing the vote, slop, the rest of the game. Um, Oz and Brittany are talking and she asked Ozza, did Christian say I was cute? At, like after she had had her makeup done. And can I just say that Brittany looked stunning, like with her contour and everything. I know that's irrelevant, but she looked gorgeous. I mean, she's a gorgeous girl, nonetheless, but she looked really cute. Um, so as I was saying, yes, he did say that. Um, Brittany has a little crush on Christian. Um, they discuss how the whole house is obsessed with other people. Brittany tells Aza that Derek X was talking to Hannah and they were discussing next week's plan and Whitney heard it. So a couple times now, Whitney has <laughs> found herself like Brent where people are discussing next week's plans and her name is not in the mix. Um, so I think she's catching on. Uh, 
let's see. So now we have the BB Club Party and uh, Derek F is in charge of it. Um, they get alcohol, obviously we have have not. So Aza, Brittany and Derek F can't partake. Um, but we're all dressed up. We're, we're glam and with the hair and we're going to judge all the men. <laughs> the men are going to come out a little later and, um, they are going to be rated on their attractiveness and their game from a one to a five. Um, and then we do a round of speed dating. Well, a couple rounds of speed dating and decide who is the um, most fetching man in the house. And so let's see, Xavier wins, uh, following by, followed by Christian, and then, unfortunately, Kyland was the least charismatic. I don't know. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> so, um, oh, and then the guys got to choose the table of speed dating of who they thought, who they found the most charming and attractive. And they really liked um, Sarah Beth and Claire. Uh, oh, <laughs> this is problematic. So Xavier is in a conversation with, I don't know, like Christian, Alyssa, Brittany, um, Whitney. Um, and he says that if he had to choose a woman in the house to settle down with, he would choose, I mean, it wasn't that final of a statement, but it was, they were just talking about things in a roundabout way. And Xavier said that he would choose Whitney as a wife because he knows that she would be a great mom. And it was a really sweet moment. Um, Whitney does not like this and they have to go and it, they're not, there's not an argument or anything, but there's this very, um, pardon my French, um, pissy, back and forth um, about it, and which to me seemed really unfair to Brittany, because why? And it really surprised me because Whitney is always trying to spare Brittany's feelings. She's always looking out for her to see that she doesn't get her feelings hurt. And um, I don't know, I mean, just, go with it. Like you're all just having fun and you're talking and you're in your, and everybody's always talking about, well, this one should be with this one and this one and this one. Like just have a good time with it. I don't know. Um, so then everybody goes inside, they change, they're all getting ready for bed. And we have a lot more talk about between Hannah and Tiffany about, um, Sarah Beth, Guy Island, and the possibilities there, like maybe they know each other, da 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 da. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know what's going on right now. I know they're waiting to have the, like I said before, they're waiting to have the Paravito ceremony. Um, I read a little something on Joker's updates that Hannah and Sarah Beth, blah, 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 Hannah and Sarah Beth might have had a little spat. Um, I mean, not, I, I don't know if it was like out in the open or, you know, I don't know if they actually said something or if it was just behind their back, something about Hannah being a brat, I don't know. Um, but I'll know next time I come back and I'll let you guys know if it was anything worth mentioning. Um, so thank you so much. Um, if you're new here and you made it this far, consider hitting the subscribe button on the all side so you'll get all notifications. And remember to hit the like button. And I thank you guys so much. Love you. Bye.